this is going to be a video. I think it was Tomiko. I forgot the name of this, but I'm doing it in the deflation mode right now. And I will say, even better than filling it, look how I deflated the front of this. I just, this is the first time I'm using it. And look how it deflates this thing to, like nothing, look at it. It's just sucking it in right in from this, look. It's amazing, it takes every bit of air out of that thing. And, uh, I mean, it took, you know what? It took a minute to deflate this thing, a couple of minutes, but look, I was able to deflate this middle thing. It's actually concave, I love this pump. And the main thing I like about it is its ability to, uh, uh, I'm trying to do this in one hand. There we go. Its ability to deflate. That's what I really like. I believe this was the Tomiko. I got the box inside. I got it off Amazon. I think it was $84 or something. And I originally got this to inflate a paddleboard. Now, what I'm going to do, I've never tried this yet. I'm let, letting it deflate that. That was an 11 foot. Um, that was an 11 foot inflatable boat. I didn't even inflate it with that. I inflated that at home with my compressor. Now I'm gonna bring out the paddleboard. Sorry for the video, but I only have one hand. So I'm gonna lay out the paddleboard. Now this is a, again, an 11 foot paddleboard. So, okay. I'll bring this out because what, what I'm gonna do is inflate this to the full from dead flat. And I deflated this by hand. I didn't use this thing. But look how well this deflates. Its deflation is so much better than anything that I've ever used. Look, look at this. So just having this capability alone. And my truck's not running. You know, I'm sure it would be going a lot faster if the truck was running. You know, look, look at this thing just crunching up to nothing. Look. Just sucking it all in there. And then I'll roll this thing up flat. I'll let it get as much air out as it can. Look at that. It's incredible. I love this thing. Okay, now, like I said, I didn't use this before. I think we're done here. So I'm gonna hit the power button and I'm gonna put the cap back in because I just like to do that so dirt doesn't get in there. Now, what we're gonna do, I'll let it rest a second. And I'm going to, I'm going to um, inflate. Now inflate, it said that you have to use the other side. I hope nobody calls me when I'm making this video. I'm using my cell phone. It just seems that every time I do try to make a long YouTube video, somebody calls me in the middle. But um, this says to inflate. So it says to actually pick the number you want and then hit the power button. So, and now the other interesting thing, I noticed it likes this long one to deflate. I, 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 to me, I think it looks like this short one is what I would be using to fill it, but I'm gonna use the long one again. Okay, so we're gonna put this in. And maybe, yeah, it is that long one. It's kind of surprising to me. This doesn't seem tight. Okay, now we're gonna set the, we're gonna set it set to PSI already. We're gonna add 2.5. This says it could take 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Let's turn it on. See what happens. Make sure there's no, I better make sure there's no sand getting sucked in the bottom of this thing. Okay. All right, now. What I can tell you about this is I have a rule, simple rule air pump. And it definitely was filling it quicker than this one. Definitely filled it quicker than this. But this one, you just sit here and it's supposed to stop when it's at its peak. Uh, this isn't bad though. And also the rule would not take it to its peak. The rule would only take it to like one pound, if that, not even. Then you had to pump it by hand to 12 pounds. Here we go. Look, it's pretty good. And like I said, I'm sure it would do a lot better, you know, if my truck was running. Because then you're getting the full voltage. 
Look at that. Oh, knocked it off into the sand. There we go. Look at that. Pretty solid already. That's about what the rule would have done up to there. Now let's see. It's... Oh, now it went to heavy duty mode. Look at that. Look at that. See, I didn't even know it would do that. That's cool. So that's the stage two, the heavy pressure. So we got one pound in there. Thing is loud so it got one pound in there so far but i want to see what it takes to bring it up to 12. so we saw the second stage kick in that was interesting i didn't know it would do that still not up there yet to give you guys a full you know a full description of how long it would actually take to go from fully deflated to max pressure on an 11 foot paddle board so we're seeing what this does now if it does it but I'll tell you what I love the way it emptied out that inflatable I love that that's great Pounds it's up to. We got three pounds out of 12 so far. You know, I should get my truck key. Is it in there? No, I should get my truck key and start it because I think it would rev up and go a lot faster. It would give you a more accurate scale of how long this would take. Let's see, I'm gonna get my truck key. I'll start it up. So we, right now, are camping okay. at Shinnecock East Campground. That's where this is, by the way. Shinnecock East. I love this place. I'm a little scared when I start the truck. It may Bluetooth the phone to the stereo. That's something I have to worry about. That's our camper. Let's see. Maybe I can start it and shut up. Let's see if it revs up. Now, let me turn off the stereo. Yeah, it went up a lot higher. Well, how do you turn this off? Radio? Off. There it goes. Now it's off. Hopefully you still have my audio. I don't know if I just wiped out my audio, but I'll tell you what, starting up the truck revved it up a lot higher. So that's, you know, I wasn't giving you guys a fair comparison. Now let's see. This is going to take a long time to fill up this board. We're halfway there now, about not even half. Well, while waiting, I'll show you what Shinnecock East Campground looks like. Hopefully no one calls because someone usually does at some point. 
So this is Shinnecock East. Now those trucks you see are the day trippers. So they come down here on the weekends and they fill up your spots at the ocean side. Wow, look at that boat and the, look at those boats out there. You got a sailboat coming in, another boat coming in. It's amazing. All right. So, and the water is nice and light colored too. You can see the color of the water. But uh, you got a plane going up. This is the, like the best place in the world. I love this place. I don't like the day trippers so much. There's too many of them, but they, they clear out. They're not there. They leave pretty soon. They'll be leaving. And the campers are on this side. And it's amazing that you could drag your camper through this sand. So uh, the kids love to play here, as you can see. And uh, this is this is the place. There's kites up there. And it's Meadow Lane. Let's see what we got this thing up to now. But this Shinnecock East is the best place. The best place. Let's see. What we got up to. That's only five. I'm not gonna bother. This is gonna take too long. <laughs> this is gonna take too long. Look at the pressure going down. It's bleeding down. Let's start it again. Now, now, we can take it to the deflate side. It'll deflate by itself. I didn't let it go, go and fall. I, I just think it's a, a tremendous waste. So you go to deflate, right? Turn it back on. Now it's going to deflate it, but you watch how low, how how it's going to suck this thing down to nothing. Look, guys, I'm sorry that I didn't go the full length. I just think it was going to take, like, to fill this board up, I'll bet it takes a good 10, 12 minutes. And I just think it was just, I, you know, between doing the large inflatable, 11-foot inflatable boat, and then this thing. I think it was a little too much for it. I don't want to overwork the pump, but I think it takes a long time. It's a lot better than pumping it by hand. Okay, let's see. Now it's going to start really shrinking it up. This is when we're getting down to that nitty gritty level. I'm shrinking it. Actually, I'm going to shut the truck. We don't even need it running at this point. Like I said, 13 minute video already. I'm worried about my phone running out of space. That's also why I cut it short. But you know what? The deflation factor alone is really what makes this thing worth it. Look at this, it's gonna crinkle this down to nothing, look. And I can fold that thing right up. It's going at nothing crunching it's kicking every bit of air out of here look at this nothing left you wait until it just that's it there's nothing left in that thing a little bit a little bit on this end sucking it down to nothing wow a little bit around that end that's it. You ain't getting any more air out than that. Okay. Then you just hook it. And it comes with every fitting you could imagine. I still think that's the fitting you should use. Then it's got this, I guess, for smaller inflatables. This might be for beach balls or something. It's got a lot of stuff. And, uh, again, I'll show you the maker of it. I believe it was, I think it was Tomco or Tomco. I'll show you the box. But look how nice it completely flattened that thing out to nothing. And that, definitely worth it. I would do it again. I would do it again. Do me a favor. 
I know I don't make the greatest videos, but subscribe. It helps. It helps. You never know what I'm going to post up there. And it is... That's the box. To me, Cole. That was the name of it, Tomiko.